appearance in. Matt Fassus. My name is Sam Kruger, and uh, we're Tonight's Noise. So tell us a little bit about the band. What uh, kind of music do you play? Like? Uh, we like to call it uh, slam grass, I think. <laughs> but uh, we, you know, we got the bluegrass, standard bluegrass instruments, but we like to play a little bit of everything, from Zappa to uh, you know, Take Five, you know, with Dave Brubeck. You know. But we also play a lot of original tunes too. Um, our guitar player Matt Fass is here has written a bunch of songs, and we're just we play a few of them. And uh, Sam's written a couple instrumentals. I've written an instrumental, and so we try to we can play a bunch of a whole original set if we wanted to. But we also have a bunch of cool covers that we like to do as well. How long have you guys been playing together? A year and a half now, I think. Yeah, about a year and a half. Yeah. Sam and I have played together for years and years for all of like, I don't know, what, seven, eight years now, something like that. So uh, we've done a lot of different projects. There were a lot of different styles from like jazz bands with college professors to like blues bands to acoustic things filling in for Valentine's Day for whatever it was. So he and I have always played a lot of material and always known each other. Uh, Matt was moving back down, I guess, from Asheville back into the Greenville area uh, and was basically looking for a place to stay. I had jammed with him a couple of times before and Matt basically came in and rented out our little closet to, to, to stash his stuff in and to sleep in every now and then. It really was a closet. Yeah. <laughs> but whenever he was there, this we were playing together. We were playing together so much, you know, it was you know, five or six hours a day, we were getting to just get down and jam and play some really cool songs. So I started writing a lot of cool tunes or with that mandolin in mind, which I had never done before. So it was a really great thing for me. And uh, uh, so you guys were all from the Greenville area originally, or I am. Um, those guys aren't. Yeah. I'm from I'm from Pickens County, just the next county over. And these guys are from Kentucky. Yeah, yeah we Eastern met Kentucky. in college. Oh, okay. College Eastern Kentucky University. Yeah, the internal colonels. <laughs> That's well, how right. did you end up in this music metropolis of Greenville? <laughs> Um, well, we had a mutual friend that had moved down here, actually got a job as a photographer. Uh, who was, he was also a guitar player though, so, so we knew this, this guy and he had checked it out and said that it was cool. And basically there were a lot of, uh, basically kind of a series of unfortunate events where all of these really great places to play in Richmond, Kentucky, where we were living, uh, all of these great places just all got shut down and torn down and destroyed all at once. So it was like one foul swoop to like put up a new building and knocked out this entire music scene in this town. So it just kind of seemed like as good of a time as any for me to hop up and, and get out of town. So I finally made the move and I started checking out cities here and there. And uh, whenever I checked out Greenville, it just kind of made sense and everything was really cool. So uh, right. every time we come back to Greenville, our buddy would be able to hook us up with a, a gig, you know, here or there. And have the crowds were just great. And it was always a great experience. So mm -hmm. I think mean, that's what did it for us. Yeah, Gr Greenville. Um, it's such a musically strong town, but it seems like nobody knows about it. I mean, there's, there's almost too many good musicians. It's kind of a best kept yeah. secret, yeah. yeah, yeah. It is. So, uh, um, have, are you guys playing mostly around town and at these festivals? Where else have you played? Uh, we're really trying to stretch out our area. I mean, obviously, we, we do play around town a lot just for the sake of we, we, we play full time, so we've got to make sure we've got enough work to make, our, make sure our pockets are filled. But we've been stretching out and doing the Florence and Beaufort and uh, Charleston and then getting up into Asheville, North Carolina. And, uh, we we've got done. some gigs in Nashville finally coming up. Nashville, some, Lexington, Kentucky. Kentucky, yeah. 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 So we, we've done, uh, this will be our third little tour that we're going to be doing coming up here uh, at the end of this month, actually, where we basically try to go up and we're going to be hitting Nashville and then Kentucky and then coming back down and doing some shows back in North Carolina and South Carolina again. Uh, we've got the EP. We've got the we've got a five-song EP. We've been uh, basically putting together songs, trying to figure out exactly what we want an album to sound like uh, because we do play all styles. You know, we could definitely do an album pretty easily with just the three-piece acoustic thing like we do, but you know, maybe we want to try to stretch it and make it something more one of these days. So I guess everything that we do, we want to try to keep the future very open for us so that we can go in any direction. So we're not always, we don't ever want to be kind of pigeonholed or pegged anywhere. We like to stretch it out and be diverse. Music's music if it's good music. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You'll never hear me say that I'm a rock guitar player or a bluegrass guitar player or a jazz guitar. I'm just a guitar player and I play everything. I love it all. So. Uh, you write a lot of songs where does uh, inspiration come from uh, oh it's it's always different every song is different it's uh it's just whatever happens to be making me feel something at the time i guess for a long time i only did like relationship songs where it was like this person's pissing me off or 
uh, I, I'm happy about this person, or it's it's always about like a feeling towards another person, or their their feeling towards something else. But I'm finally getting to this point in my songwriting where I'm writing about separate like things that don't have anything to do with me, and it's been really great. So uh, it's it, it's kind of taken me a while to get out of that box, but it's a, it's a great step to be making. Have you ever been approached by someone saying, "I know you wrote that song about me"? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got a few. I've got a few. The, the, the song "Mockingbirds." Everybody is like, "Man, that's about my town for sure." It's just a you know songs about gossip and you know things about just that, that everybody can relate to to some degree. Well, and you write as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you guys, do you start with, uh, um, with the instrumental part of it or the lyrics or something? Sometimes it it, go, it goes both ways. I know that uh, I'm not very. I don't feel like I'm a very good poet, so I usually just stick to the instrumentals, and it, and it can start as something that's just three notes, and builds, and builds, and we discuss everything, we talk about what would be cool, what wouldn't be cool, and sometimes we take things way too far, and we don't realize it until we've already played it out, you know, we play it in front of people, and we got a lot of head scratches, and new looks, <laughs> we tone it back a notch, or, you know, we take it even farther out in left field, so, you know, it's a... Uh, and I think what I like the most about this band is that it's always changing. The first song that we ever wrote, we're still adding things to it. You know? But Sam's a, Sam's a, one of these guys who can play anything. So, you know, he writes his songs. Well, he's got these really complex songs that he's written on, like, keyboards. And, uh, and, and then, you know, teaches them to us, and we play guitar and mandolin, and he plays bass. But, uh, but he, yeah, he's one of these guys who can play drums, bass, keys, guitar, mandolin, ukulele. Whatever you need him to play. So, uh, what's the worst lyric you've ever written? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> you first. Yeah, I know. It's been so long since I've even written one. They're, they're really just they're just, they're all very self-centered, and uh, it, it sounds uh, like something Taylor Swift would throw away. You know? It's like I'm in high school, but my locker's jammed. Oh, you know, this is garbage. Words, you know? My locker's jammed, and I miss eating ham. <laughs> And my mom doesn't give a damn. Yeah. <laughs> write it down, write it down. This That's is it. It's a hit. Are we recording this? Uh, right as of right now, the EP is still only being sold here. We haven't put it up online anywhere yet. Uh, it's just kind of a thing that we give to people whenever they come to the live shows. Uh, so we just try to keep it cheap and spreading it to as many people. Most of the time, whenever somebody buys one, I tell them to make sure they burn a copy and give it to their friend, just because it's like it's more of us spreading the music and the message than uh, than it is us trying to make money off of an album right now. Um, Facebook. We do Facebook. We do. Uh, we've got ReverbNation.com slash Tonight's Noise. Uh, I've got my own website, MattFasses.com, and I usually keep all of the dates that we do posted on there as well. Great. Well, we appreciate you guys taking time with us. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Catch you real soon. We'll be around, man. Thanks.